Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Now in this video, we will save the token in the local storage so that when we try to refresh, when we are refreshing the page, we will get the token and we will auto login automatically. Okay. Now we will try to first what, what is we need to do is we need to save the token in the local storage. So let's try to do that one. Here, if I try to click on the login, okay. So here, if I let, let me refresh this page. Now, if I try to log in here, Leela Web Dev at the rate gmail dot com. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Now, if I try to click on the login, if I try to click on the login, now we are able to log in, right? But logout also is appearing. So now when I try to refresh this page, so it is automatically logging out. So first what we need to do is in order to achieve that one auto login, we need to save the data in the local storage. So let's try to save the data in the local storage. Now let's go to the auth actions. Okay. In this auth actions, what I can do is in the confirmed sign up action is there, right? Now here what I will try to do is so take this all response data and we will save it directly in the local storage. Now what we can do is uh, save token in local storage. We will write some method something like so take this all response dot data. Okay. Now what I can do is so this say taking this all save token in local storage. Let's go to the auth service. So we have one auth service and in this auth service what I can write is so here at the down export function so token we have this method right yeah so we are getting all the token data token details so we are getting as a parameter now what i will do is so here local storage dot set item and here i will do user details user details and i will try to save complete token details here so we have saved the token details perfect now we have saved this one so let's keep it apart that here so now not only in the sign up we need to do in the login also so before dispatching the confirmed sign up action and also the confirmed login confirmed action so let's try to do this one so response dot data sorry response dot data so perfect so now we have saved the token in the local storage so let's try to see whether the token is getting stored in the local or not local storage or not we'll see Leela web dev at the rate gmail.com. I am logging in 12345678900 and I am clicking on the login. So I clicked on the login and I am able to get the user details object object. So I am getting the object object means we are trying to save the directly the object. So it's better what we can do is we can save json.stringify. Okay. json.stringify of this token. Fine. Now what I will do here, I will try to refresh it again and I will try to remove this one, delete. Now I will uh, do the same thing, Leela web dev at the rate gmail.com and here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Click on the login. We are able to save the complete data, right? So now if I try to click on the user details, here we are able to see complete details. We are saving it in the local storage so there is no need actually for us to store entire local uh, entire details just for the time sake i am showing everything so now what we can do is so we have saved the token in a local storage now what i will try to do is so now we have saved the token by logging out we need to delete the token so now if i click on log out here the token is not getting deleted so now next step, next step what we need to do is we need to delete the log uh, in the token so now what we can do is so let's go to the logout here is the logout. We have a logout method. Yeah. Here, what I can do is before doing so, we can directly remove it directly here. If you want, you can directly local storage dot remove item. We have remove item user details, right? So we can directly call this one. Now let's try to see the output. So if I am clicking on the login here, I will try to do the same thing. Leela web dev at the gmail dot com. Okay, one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and here if i click on the login now we are able to get the user details now i am clicking on the logout see the user details local storage is completely went away so now what we need to do is the next step what we need to do is so when this 
when we are playing in the post so where for example i logged in so here i logged in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 so what i will try to do is i click on the logged in so now when i am trying to get the post details and all those things i have sit idle for a one hour or something like that so actually the token ex the token expiry time is one hour so after one hour the token will not be useful so that is an expired token now after one hour what we need to do is we need to automatically log out the user so if you want to log out the automatic like user means we need to run the timer so how we can run the timer so let's try to do this one so when we are saving the token in the local storage so here only we can do we can run the timer here right so what i can do is so here so what i can do is uh, run logout timer i will create one file and here i will say try to send the timer and also what we can do is we need to get the uh, dispatch action also so what we can do is so instead of adding it here we will try to do it from the auth action so now here what i will try is immediately we can run run logout timer so we need to have the dispatch method and also the timer we need to send the timer also timer where we can get this one we can get it from the uh, response dot data dot timer so this is the number of seconds and what i can do is i can multiply with 1000 so that i can get the millisecond so in the same scenario i can use this one in the sign up token also so run logout timer dispatch method and this one we will be getting and here what i can do is so i will create another function so run logout timer you will get the dispatch method and also the timer so what i will try to do is this method what it will try to do is it, it will just run the set time out so it will take the action okay so it will take the action and here what it will try to do is so here what it will try to do is so just it will dispatch the logout so logout it will dispatch the logout directly this logout will be coming with from the store actions and here the timer will be this is the timer so for the time being what i will try to do is 1000 and 10000 so 10000 means nothing but so why we will keep it as a 5000 so that 5 seconds will be the timer so after 5 seconds automatically the uh, user will be automatically logged out so let's try to show i will try to show it now here what we can do is so in the auth actions yeah we need to import this run logout timer yeah we are automatically in this one so here also yeah what a problem now if i try to refresh this one now if i am why this one is coming again fail to compile logout timer run logout timer try to refresh run logout timer here is this one. run logout timer we are using and here we are getting from the auth service oh we did i think okay now we saved it yeah now it's working fine now i went to the login and here i can use leela web dev at the rate gmail.com and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 so this is the timer so now i click i will click on the i will click on the login immediately toggling and the confirmed login is fired so we are able to get the login and now see the logout see automatically the logout action also fired in the within 1 second within 5 second so now if i try to log in it again so let's try to see leela web dev at the rate gmail.com and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 and click on the login and we clicked on the login we will go to the post and see now what it will try to do automatically the log logout action has fired within the 5 seconds so that means what we can do so we can automatically fire within the timer so the timer will run sorry the timer will run within the second okay so now we are running the timer also so now the after one hour automatically this system will be logged out so now what i will do is so leela web dev at the rate gmail.com so this one will be working fine and here the login timer will work so no need to worry so we are successfully problem okay. so no here so oh, problem has came we'll try to check here network can the console try to be Leela web dev and here I will write one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. Try to refresh it again. Wait one second. So if I try to refresh it, let's try to see. 
yeah so leela webdev at the rate gmail.com and one two three four five six seven eight nine zero i am trying to save it in the timer now we have got the thing and automatically the timer is running or what the timer the timer what we are getting here is the response dot data dot timer oh sorry timer it's not timer right it is an expire scene so you are getting in the expire scene so in the same scenario what we can do is your expire scene this is the timer actually now if i try to go if i try to refresh this page yeah now leela webdev at the rate gmail dot com and one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and here login okay the logout has been fired so now after one after one hour automatically the logout will be executed and uh, and here you will be able to see the login screen again okay so this is how we will be made the auto logout now if i try to refresh this page again see again this is in the sign up login but we are able to see that in the application in the local host we are able to get the local user details are there but here we are still seeing the sign up and login so in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to persist in that one using this local storage we will get we will take all these details what are the details available in the uh, in the local storage and we will try to add it in the redux store again so that the log, log, uh, login uh, logout screen will appear again okay so let's try to do it in the next video so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you